Okay, we're gonna start the driver's side tear down on this old truck. Right here, we're gonna go ahead and put our floor pans in. Of course, get these rockers out. Somebody patched this one in too right here, you can tell. Capped it over. Get all that tore out. Cab corners, you can see what's going on there. Floor pan in the back. Go ahead and redo all that. There's our outer four pan right there. And we've got a rockers, cab corner, kick panel, that thing there. And I'll fix start tearing up some. Okay, starting a new day. This is what I got tore out last night. Got the plates tore out. That's what you're seeing right there. The rust. A little bit worse than the passenger side. It ain't up to this mount, so that's good. Just a little surface rust around it. But I'm going to go ahead and get these rockers out. Get that floor cut. All right, before I take this rocker out, I'm doing this side a little different. I went on and cut me a one before. And put me a line right here, all the way down. And I marked the rocker, so I'll know where the new one goes in when I go to uh, uh, tack weld it in. Cut me a little notch out of my one before, give me a little slack so that rocker can move back and forth. But that pretty much puts me right on it. Pretty much can't go wrong as long as I keep it on the line, keep my mark right. That's if it'll jam against the back quarter, uh, the back cab corner tight enough where to fit right. That's why I'm uh, putting the rockers in first to match it in with the cab corner. Or if you're doing the cab corner first, put it in and match it with the rocker. Either way, I figured it'd be a little tough if you take both of them at the same time, but. Here I go. And again, this door did match pretty good with this original rocker before I took it out. You know, I noticed everything before I went on and start, started taking the door down. Even though it had a, a cap right over top, you know, a rocker, they just capped it in. It still, I still had my, my look there. It was looking pretty decent, so.
Okay, I went on and put my braces up. Keep everything together. Luckily I did because all this is gone down here. I didn't order this piece, so I'm gonna make I'm gonna have to make one. Drill two holes. It's got a mount right in here. The whole bottom floor mount. The floor the cab support on the back's gone too. So I'm gonna have to put that in. The cab corner fell off the back. The part that I really needed on there to gauge the rocker in, but that's okay because luckily I measured from the top of this rocker up to the drip rail and got my measurement first so that's going to help me out and when I put this new rocker in I can go ahead and get my measurement here luckily I still got a little bit of cap corner left right here keep that radius there and that'll kind of help me get it adjusted I'll still have to set the door make sure everything's in so or set right Okay, got most of the floor cut out so I can investigate and see what's going on up under here. As you can tell, that's all gone. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is start on this rear cab floor support. I'm gonna go ahead and get it put on in here real quick. I left a little meat here uh, where the floor is and it gets, gives me something to gauge by when I go ahead and, uh, let's see here. When I go ahead and put this place up here, I got a little bit of floor so I can push that against and still keep keep the same slant going here. So I'll keep a little bit of floor there and just take the rest of it out. And we'll see what happens. All right, I took a big chunk of it out. There's what it looks like. Have to get it all cleaned up and this and that. Got something to weld to. I'm going to take this and start cutting off some off the back. I left a little bit of the floor in here so I can butt, a, I butt against the back of it real good. Close enough and you know still have my angle right there to work with. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to uh, yeah, get to cut Okay, probably about an hour after you seen me make that first cut, I got this where I want it. I even had to make a splice down it and pull it over a little bit so it'll fall in place when it goes up under there. Right here. I put the rock in to help me line everything up. That's going to go in, and I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'll bend it over a little bit and get that back to where it's supposed to be, pretty much like I had to do the other side. All right, I'm going to get to knocking around, welding and carrying on. Okay, took about an hour break to get out of all that dust and grind and everything. Got that welded in. 
I got to go and finish cutting the floor out. Weld it in from the bottom. Grinds look a little crazy, but they'll be alright. That's what we're looking like on the back. I had to take a little bit more out of the cab corner, as you can see. I've still got to come on up just a little bit. But yeah, let me go and finish cutting this floor out. Okay, after getting this door pillar taken out, that's what we're looking like. The inner panel ain't as bad as the other side. I had to cut it way up here. So that's what we're looking like. The floor is pretty good on this one. There's nothing going on up top, but all down in here, just like the other side. I'll cut straight across here and I'll fill a patch in right in there. Okay, what I'm going to do is take this front door pillar, match it to fit the front floor support, and go ahead and cut it and weld it, then cut the floor support out, put the new one in. Okay, got the lower door pillar welded up. Still got to do some grinding. Now I can go ahead and cut this back or this front floor brace out. And go ahead and replace it. Hopefully everything's going to be okay right there on that one. And not have kind of a bad slant like the back ones did. But I got to So yeah. I gotta get the joint cleaned up real quick before I start again. After a bunch of cutting and grinding and carrying on for a good while, got the other one cut out and this one put in, fitting real good. I'll get my welds around it. I'll clamp this up over here first. Weld it in.
Okay, got that front brace in. Weld it up. Fit pretty good after a bunch of grinding, shaving, and carrying on. That's in, so got to make sure it's floor pan will fit now after putting them braces in. I'll check it out tomorrow evening. I'm tired and hungry. Alright, another good fresh day. We're going to go ahead and uh, see if this floor pan will fit. Let's check it out. Alright, I think we're going to be okay. I'm going to get everything scribed in. Still got to throw a patch back there after that. A little patch on the front. Alright, here we go. Alright, after taking it in and out about 15 times, I think I got everything fitting pretty good. Got all the holes drilled for the spot welds. Found another piece of rust right there cut out. I'm going to do a little patch right there. It ain't fitting too good on that top end, but I think I can clamp it up real good. And if I have to do a little splice, then I will. Got a few holes cut on the back. I can weld through. Still got to make this piece out here. But I'll get that made, cut in after I get this full welded up. I already got a piece here made. I'm going to go ahead and get it right in there, weld it up, drill my holes, put the bolts in. All right, here we go. That's what we're looking at. Still got a patch to put in here, here and here. Everything's welded up, grinded down pretty close. Got a little crazy on the grind right there, but I'll do some body work on that. The brace put in. Didn't really want to take the cab corner out, but it pretty much fell out, so I had to go ahead and cut it on out of there but I got all my measurements off the rocker so I can line that right back up and do my thing so well, all right we're gonna leave it at that for now until the rocker y'all take it easy <laughs>